Remember Notebook LM from Google that basically would turn these PDFs or websites into podcasts? Well, Meta just released an open version that they're calling Notebook Llama. According to this article, it's not as good as Notebook LM, but we're gonna try it out anyway because we all love open source, right? But before we do that, I wanna highlight quickly how it actually works. So this is a really great diagram to look at. Notice that the first step is to pre-process a PDF into text so that the model can actually accept that input. Next, you have Llama create a script, and then this is the funny part where they have Llama create a more dramatic script. And then finally, you put that script through a TTS model, which stands for text to speech. Essentially, this just turns the text into someone talking. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go to GitHub and find this Notebook Llama repository. Okay, now you're gonna wanna install this. So all of these files are in a Jupyter Notebook, so you're gonna run Jupyter Notebook. And here we are, we're in Jupyter, and you're gonna be able to see these four steps that you have to run. So I'm gonna stop it right here because honestly, meta, if you want to call something Notebook Llama, after Notebook LM, you cannot make it this hard to use. It's not that using a Jupyter Notebook is actually that hard. It's that I actually have to run four separate Jupyter Notebooks. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not gonna keep going. I think I hit my limit. The reason why Notebook LM was so successful and went kind of viral is because it was easy to use. And I just feel like this, I love it. I love open source. This is a little too raw for me. It's a little too raw. Either way, this is super cool, but it's definitely not going after the same persona that Notebook LM was.